A big day for the manager. It is his 200th game in charge. Will he mark it with a victory? Next on EA TV. Hello everyone, the heavens opened earlier and the rain shows no inclination to stop. We're looking forward to the game anyway. I'm Derek Ray and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Bundesliga. It's Armenia Bielefeld and they take on St. Pauli. Thanks Derek. Well often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. A chopping challenge and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, you don't really want to be picking up a caution so early in the game, Stuart. Well, he's going to be under pressure now. That was a reckless challenge. He didn't need to make it at all. Karim Adeyemi. And that was a move of great promise. They could easily have been in. But for Zang Pauli, it really was a fine performance and a magnificent result in the last game against Union Berlin. How do you think this one will go, Stuart? Well, I think the scoreline tells us what a comfortable win it was. They scored three good goals and were unhappy at not keeping a clean sheet. Today, they will be a lot tougher, and I'm expecting a really close game with neither side quite having enough oh, to Stuart's win. Oh, Stuart's a chance! A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. Well, let's have another look at this, because he does really well to pick the right pass here. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. And scope for them to produce something exciting. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Petar Stojanovic. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. Played in there. And well, the danger is still there. Threat over for now, it seems. Well, managers will always tell you they're unaware of statistics like this, but it's up to us to point them out. His 200th game in charge. Well, he's done well because players can get tired of the same voice, but he's been very clever. Oh, hang on, Stuart. Big chance here. And a goal to square the game. Edge of the seat stuff. Well, here it is again, and it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. So, a level contest, 1-1. Toruna Riga. Draxler. Felix Agu. Draxler now. Plenty of forward momentum heat. Bad challenge. And now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late, and he deserved a booking for that. Draxler might be able to set up the chance. And a promising-looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. An alert piece of defending. Petar Stojanovic. Well, many people have made this fellow the focus of attention ahead of today's match. The question was, would he feature, would he not? Well, not only is he in the squad, but he's actually been deemed... Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. Tony Kroos. Friedrich, setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back.
Opportunity it is. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And then from there, the keeper has little chance. Two on one, left completely exposed, and it made for a simple finish in the end. So there we have it, 2-1. Lack of guile with regard to that cross. Goalkeeper's ball. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Free kick awarded then by the referee. And perhaps a bit fortunate not to be shown the yellow card. Different story. Well, the free kick fired too close to the goalkeeper. Tony Kroos. Adeyemi. Oh, lovely incisive pass. And there it is, a chance. And a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and the timing of the run is just as good. As for the finish, it was never in doubt. So back underway, 3-1 the score. Well, on the cusp of the half-time interval, and the visitors are prospering. Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Well, from an attacking point of view, it's been a very good performance. I've really liked the way they've got the ball from back to front, then how the forwards have got away from their markers, and the speed of their attacks as well. It's been a really impressive first half. And the keeper throws himself up the ball. Keen to take it short here. He cuts it back. Able to get a body in the way. So the referee brings the first half to an end and it's the visiting fans who'll be the happier... Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Now, from what I'm hearing, there's been a goal in the Bayern Munich game. Over to Alex for the information. It's a goal for Bayern Munich. They've scored the opener with 48 minutes played. They've been fast out of the blocks here in the second half, Derek. Many thanks as ever, Alex. And the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. And it really should be an intriguing Bundesliga game, the one we've got coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Armenia Bielefeld facing Borussia Mönchengladbach. Well, Derek, I'm really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium, and it should be an entertaining match. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Can't miss, surely! A goal! Another one! It's turning into an absolute demolition job! Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Goals and plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. Well, not giving him any breathing room to be advised giving the ball away in that position this looks interesting well the visitors as you can see have enjoyed so much of the possession yes they've played well when going forward but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here and it makes them such a good team it's been a brilliant performance so far
Well, let's join Alex Scott because I'm hearing, Alex, there's been a goal in the Leipzig game. It's another goal for Leipzig. It's now 2-1 with 60 minutes on the clock. Alex with the info as ever. Demir. He could pick out a teammate. And over the top it goes. Close shave. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Felix Agu. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Jakob Barrett Larsson. Well, and he's broken free. Didn't fall the keeper. Time for a change then. But well, he's gone short with it. Has someone to play it to. Defensive excellence there. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Giving it away. Well, the final whistle approaching, and this has certainly been an away day to remember. Stuart, your assessment. Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Their movement, clever passing and energy have been a joy to watch. It's been a really good win for them. And teammates to play it to. Well, they know they need to stop him. And a tidy tackle. Alex Scott is at the ready with an update. Something has changed at the Red Bull Arena, but exactly what? Yes, another goal for Eintracht Frankfurt. No one was marking him. He had too much time, and it was a simple finish in the end. They've pulled one back, and it's now 3-2 with 80 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Draxler. An incisive pass, and he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. They favoured a short one here. Dangerous ball, not the best clearance. Gives it a go. Well, tremendous block. Is this the moment? And able to get a body in the way. Larson. Rietl. McHugh. Vasiliadis. Oh, managing to beat him. Well, misfiring without any shadow of a doubt. And so the final whistle here. The visitors come out on top, Stuart. Well, they were excellent, weren't they? But I'm not.